We got another uh, AM crew training session coming at you guys today. It's our max effort upper, dynamic effort lower training session. We're running it back with the Z press. This is a staple exercise in the Bracket Smasher training program. For this exercise, there are a couple key things that we need to look out for. First one is being getting our upper back tight. Second one is getting our elbows in front of the bar. And then third is when we're pressing overhead, we want to make sure that we're not pressing out in front, but we're pressing straight overhead, trying to get our biceps in line with our ears. We're going to follow this up with some alternating dumbbell bench press, some pull-ups, some dynamic effort squats. So all in all, it should be a good training session. If you guys are interested in finding out how you can get stronger so you can win more matches and get injured less, we have a free four-week strength program that I would love to send you guys. If you're interested in that, you just have to click the link in the description below. And we'll catch you guys after the training session. So what are your goals for the first quarter of 2022? Uh, first quarter of 2022, um, win Grappling Industries, take home gold in Reno, and uh, continue to train after that, get stronger, and look forward to the next competition. When is Grappling uh, Industries? Uh, January 29th. All right, let's yeah, get be it. there. Let's, let's go. It. Alright Z, what are your goals for first quarter of 2022? Ooh, that's a good one. So what, we're about halfway through January. I'd say trying to sell three houses. Um, goals in here. We're trying to work up to about uh, 355 to 375 on the belt squat. This year I'm trying to hit 405. Um, and then Jiu Jitsu, potentially do a competition within March. Um, and then preparing for a Spartan race. I got a 10K Spartan race coming up on March 13th. So that's it, let's keep it working. Hey Diego, what are your goals for this upcoming March, first quarter? Uh, my goals are to get stronger, more mobile, so that I can uh, be overall more effective and productive in my training sessions and ultimately my fights. So, uh, I just want to be dominant, you know what I mean? I want to be dominant in my fights and in the gym, so I think that starts here, so let's get it. We just finished up our training session. It was a pretty solid training session today. Um, worked up to a three rep max on Z press. Uh, your boy failed his set at 135, which is uh, has me pretty pissed. But you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes it's important to to know. And even though I, I say this all the time, like don't miss lifts in the gym, don't miss lifts in the gym, don't miss lifts in the gym. Sometimes my ego gets in the way too. When I go for something big, when it's probably not there, and I end up missing. So. It is what it is. I gotta take it in stride and just plan on crushing it in two weeks or four weeks or maybe even in a month or two. That being said, you guys heard everybody give some of their strength goals that they have for this first quarter. The way I'm looking at this year is that this first quarter, January, February, and March, I have very specific strength goals that I wanna hit. The team has very specific strength goals that they wanna hit. And all those strength goals are all indicators of performance and how that's gonna to contribute to their performance on the mat. If we can increase our Zertra squat one rep max, if we could increase our one rep max 
on Z press or sumo deadlift or improve our broad jump, improve uh, some of these other markers that we've been testing over the past couple weeks, those are gonna have some direct correlations to them being a better athlete on the mat so that they can win more matches and get injured less. For me personally, my goals, at least for the big four, the setlet strength four, I guess we can call them, would be uh, 335 Zercher box squat, 405, or no, 455 sumo deadlift at a body weight under 160. I've done much heavier deadlifts in the past, but I was over 170 pounds. Now that I'm in the high 150s, I wanna see how close I can get to my peak strength at this, uh, this low body weight. Floor press is gonna be a 255 floor press, and then on Z press, I just wanna hit body weight. So I'm weighing around 155, 160 right now. So if I can get at least 155, I'd be pretty uh, happy and stoked about that. You guys will see that we're gonna be changing things up as far as our training goes and really dialing things in. Some guys are gonna be competing a lot this year, so we're gonna be focusing on getting them geared up for competition. Diego has his next pro MMA fight coming up in February, which I'm super excited and fired up about. That being said, if you guys are interested in learning how you can get stronger on the mat so you can win more matches and get injured less, I have a free four-week strength program I'd love to send you guys. Just click the link in the description below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.